What is up guys, it's AJ Markle here, welcome to episode number 16 of MVP Baseball 2005 Class A This is Haram Bihar Stadium, it is in the country of Puerto Rico This was the second stadium of then Montreal Expos before they moved to Washington to become the Washington Nationals So unfortunately though, this stadium was there because they were having issues with issues going on if the other stadium. So anyway, I am playing against the Blue Jays because in the last episode, I lost on a walk-off single. I want payback. Like, serious payback right now. There we go. That's a D to center field. Oh, no. Chavez is going to get right out of this one, is he? Dang it. Okay, that hurt. There's, there's Hudson, who is not known for power, but he hit a home run in the last episode to tie the game to help us out. And there's a line drive. Don't you catch it, Gian! Good gravy. Here's Vernon Wells. Save us. Vernon Wells is known for some pop in his back, but can he get home right here? Yes, he will not. That is foul. Dang it. Oh, if it was fair, that would have been gone again. That would have been a massive deja vu. There we go. Oh, man. Deep to left field. No doubt about it. Home run. Vernon Wells with a solo home run. This is a deja vu all over again. This time it's off Esteban Loiza. Look at this. Vans are just sitting quietly like, oh, not this again. And the Blue Jays strike early. Here's Corey Koski. I didn't say this in the last episode, but he actually used to be the twins third baseman, but he, I guess, got either he went to free agency or got traded. I don't know. You guys comment below if you guys know the answer. But uh, Corey Koski is actually one of the those hitters that has some pop in his bat, decent fielder, but yeah, he's just no, he's not, he's not like an all-time fielder. There's whoa, this is exactly happened in the last episode. He got a base hit too. So maybe I could prevent a deja vu. Okay, now you got now this is the last episode of the, all these stadiums. The next the next stadium that I will do will be the one I played earlier on, but it will be me. As a guy who's have been Hall of Famers or been considered for the Hall of Fame versus Legends. And that, that and who will I be playing it as that team? Well, I will play as the range with multiple guys who are considered or are in the Hall of Fame. But I'm not going to tell you exactly what they are. And we got two on and no oh, Rios! Oh, I do not like Rios at all. That guy has killed my team. He's... His lack of effort at right field cost us the game. Holiday's giving our chance of redemption, though, because we really need some redemption. Ground ball, Adams. Come on, man. Make the throw. Ooh, ooh good throw. Barely. The, that's, that's the way to get the out right there. He makes the dive. He then makes the throw from his knee. Got him. Guzman. Got to be careful with him. He's a speedster. A s nice speedster. Yep. And that... Should have been fielded by Holiday on that one, but unfortunately, not good. So that, so that was unfortunate right there. All right, I gotta be cautious though. Guzman's got some speed. Fouled off, and Vidro shuttered over to the opposite part of the play because they knew that I knew his weak spot. Excuse me, he knew. Pitch, fly ball to left center field. Johnson, get there. Okay, he's gonna make throw third, and he. And of course, Guzman gets there in time. Two on with one out. Castilla is up. That's trouble. And he went under the cutter. So that now that was a strike right there. Castilla, like I said in the last episode, was a homer and threat back in the nineties. But he, but now he's really not. Okay, they got they're gonna get a sacrifice fly right there. Throw gonna be close at the play. And oh, good throw. But he's safe. Now the game is tied. All right, a little more action this time. Let's let's make it more interesting. Foul ball to the right. <laughs> He's like, bang! <laughs> Just fell down. Also, the last episode, I killed a fly literally in my hand in the last episode. That was weird. And don't worry, my hands are clean from that. Don't worry. Well, it was my left hand, actually, that did it. So... Yeah, I'm actually right-handed in real life. Just thought I'd throw that out there. And there's a pop-up on a palm ball. You don't see those often anymore. And Adams will make the catch. Tie game. We're already getting some action here in this game. All right, Adams. Let's see if you could get some pop for us. A little pop-pop off the bat would be nice. Maybe not like that. But that's a foul ball. Let's We could chill a bit. 1-1 one, one here in the second. 
And that's popped in the left field. And that is a catch by Wilkerson. So easy, it, you can just jog to it. There's Greg Zahn. Not a power hitter, but he's known for contact. Pitch. Ooh, good slider, but it was outside. And he almost went at it. Almost went at it. One ball, no strikes. Went under the cutter. Okay, one ball, one strike. This is... This is an interesting chance to blow this one away. If I can swing the darn bat! Also, I failed to see this, but you don't... On this, those uniforms that I'm wearing, they don't have the last names of the player. They have just Toronto on there. And there's a base hit in the center field. A single for Greg Zong. Okay, well, that's pretty good. And there's Holiday. Not known for power. Not known for contact, so... Fair game. What? Ooh! -hoo -hoo. Ooh, that was a good catch. It was like, pew, special delivery. <laughs> All right, Reed Johnson, hoping we get our chance to get a hit. And whoa, two-seamer right on the corner. Not the guard. Now, let's calm down. Oh, ooh, that's a good swing right there. Drop, 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 drop. Dang it. Yeah. Keon. Just when I thought I had a chance. He, he, he goes under it. It's like, it's like, ooh, souvenir. Hudson, what the devil, man? Come on! How could you not field that thing? Oh my goodness. <sighs> Chavez is a speedster in the outfield. And a speedster in real life. He's pretty quick. So if I want to turn two, I better hope I can get him to ground out. And he popped out instead. Adams will have to make a quick throw. Safe. Barely. Here is Schneider. Brian Schneider is at the plate. Let's try to deal with him. He throws a hot splitter right on the corner. A hot splitter. A very quick splitter right near the corner. And there's a pop-up. Vernon Wells don't need this one. And I think he'll catch it, but we'll see if he'll try to throw the first. And he will not get him at all. So there's two outs now. There's Loiza. I don't think I have to worry about him. Let's just th let's just throw a fastball right here, and he takes it for a strike. So we got a guy up first with two outs here, and Loiza. Oh, he's got some pop in his bat. Rios, you caught it, but can you hit the ball good? All right. Orlando Hudson's at the plate. He flied out last time. See, I thought he got hit, but Guillaume was right there. Fouled off. And that's the outside bullpen. Why did these stadiums always have those outside bullpens and not to strike on the edge? I Because I guess I don't like the outside bullpens. I think Tropicana Field had for a long time. It's because it, if a foul ball comes at you, it could hit you. And, that's, and you may not have enough time to it. Sometimes it first get a foul ball over 100 miles an hour. Oh, it's a good swing, but... Ah, well, Kassad. Come on, Koski. Come on, come on. Get a hit. Again, oh no, 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 because Casilla, throw it away, please. Dang it. Now, that hurt. We got three down. Looks like Wilkerson is, is up, leading off in the third inning. So, and that's foul ball. He swung a little early on that one. And throw the curve coming this way. And wow. The curveball started to be like a meatball pitch to these guys. I need to probably not throw it as much. Probably need to start sticking with more off speed, but not the curveball unless it's outside the zone. Especially when I'm facing these guys. Grounder. Okay, speed. Speed is key. Just hurry up here. Got him! Woo! That was a good that was some good hustle there. But it was gonna be close anyway. And he gotta stay on the back. Okay. Vidro. Vidro. So cutter is gonna be our my first pitch. And what do you know? He grounded right to Corey Koski for the third out. All right. We're in good hands. And now there's Hinsky Re Reels. <gasps> I, I don't like Reels as a hitter right now. He's not that good for some reason. At least not to me. Later on he would be, but in his early years, I don't think he's that good. And Hinsky pops into left center field. Playable. And out. If Reels can change my mind, I'll be nice. Alexis Reels. Changed to Astros later on. And what do you know? He's not changing my mind at all. He just makes a weak ground or two for the second out. If he doesn't improve in the next at bat, I will bench him for Frank Calinato. Okay, that's a good swing, but just a little early. And now we got one ball, one strike. No, wait, one strike. I thought I was looking at one on one on the top left corner. My bad. 
And Russ Adams has got only two on him now. Just protect the plate. Fouled off again. Swung a little late. And do two strikes now. Still, well, two strikes still. Oh my goodness, the cutter got him. He swung a nasty cutter right there for the strikeout. Still a one on one game. And it's not going in our favor. First pitch is a splitter on the middle right of the plate. And so now we're going to show a fastball at Castilla. Oh, man, he swung badly. Just very bad. Now, since the curveball is not good in the zone, let's try to get away from him. And swing and a miss. He done. That was a good curve right there. Look at that. He just did the pitch. And swung early. There's Gian. It says on there he was an angel at one point. He was in an angel's uniform. There's a line drive to right. That's a base hit. Rios quickly fields it and throws it in. Keeping it up first, though, because we can. There's Nick Johnson. Nick Johnson. Pitch. Swing and a miss. For a strike. Everything is going my way so far in terms of not since they're getting away from big hits. Thankfully, though, they didn't hit a home run. That would have shaken up my guy's confidence. But it was a base hit. It's a line drive, and it's caught by Adams. He will throw it back to first for nothing because he went back in time. Chavez, the speedster, is up. But it wouldn't matter if he grounded out to whoever. Oh, no. Rios. Redeem yourself. Oh, no, Rios! Are you kidding me right now? What happened? I thought he had it, and he... Ah... Oh, no, 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 no. That's it. No. He's done. I'm done with Rios. Uh, let's see. Count on now. East Utility. I'm taking putting him in right field. He is done. I'm sorry. I cannot handle Rios anymore. He is done. After that play and his 0-2 performance, he slacked. I do not want a guy who slacked. I originally was going to wait for one more chance from him, but that will work. Come on, Catalanato. You show us what you got. Yes, that's how we do it. But unfortunately, because of that incident, we're losing by one run. Pitch. Oh, that's a good swing up there, but right there. Caught. He caught the path of that ball. And Holiday, who almost got a base hit, but otherwise it was like, nope, freeze delivery. And there's Castilla again, who makes a good throw all the way from third base for the out. And Johnson's 0 for 2. Come on, let's get a hit, Johnson. That would be nice. Oh, wow, that was a late swing. Usually when the later innings, like I said, they throw faster, so I got to concentrate on getting better hitting. Oh, that was a good swing, but foul. Foul the way. 0 and 2 now. And oh, mm, jammed him. Jammed him. Guillen's running into this one. And oh, my goodness, he made a catch. He was trying to save himself. All right, Wiza, let's take care of you. Fouled off. The f I like the flags in the background. I just noticed the flags. They are flying. They're like they're flying in the background. Pretty cool. Ooh, that's deep in the right field. But Catalano's gonna need this one. I already like Catalano already, cause not because he's actually a former Ranger. He had two stints with them, but because he actually is a better fielder than Rios. That I just can't stand what Rios did, missing a key fly ball that would have been the third out, but now they took the lead because of that. <sighs> Still not gonna get let him off the hook for that. Yep, Canales running for this one. He's faster. If he was in right field in that last game, he probably would have kept going. All right, Hudson, Wells, and Koski. All the first and third batters are lefties. You know, Hudson's actually a switch hitter. But Koski could help us because he's got some content in his swing. Line drive. That's extra bases. Hudson's gonna get, is gonna have to run the hard. He's running for two, and he will get there standing with a double. So he's the tie run. Nice. Vernon Wells, one for two, hit a home run. The first run and only run for the Blue Jays. Line drive. That's a base hit. Hudson's got some speed, but can he do it? It's gonna be a close play at the plate. It's off. Oh. oh. Oh, that was close. He and ah, uh, he was. I should have done a better slide. That was awful. There's the pitch. Oh, that was. That's okay. The right field. Corey Koski goes yard. 
take the lead with one swing at the bat. A two-run home run. Pow. That is what we need right there to get back in the game. It is now 3-2 to two, Toronto against Washington. And here is Hinsky, one for two, hit a double, but didn't score. It'll be nice if he gets a hit here. It's a ground ball to the second base side. That's Vidro out. That is the second out. But now there's Catalanato. He didn't have as much as uh, Rios, but he's got better pop. Oh, ooh! That was a good swing of swing there, but the wise was right there. Toronto takes the lead on a two-run home run here. So we're back in the game. So we got let's keep Holiday for one more inning. I want to keep him in for the sixth inning, and then I'll and then I'll be able to pinch him hit for him after that. Now I'm gonna gonna start going to my bullpen now. I'm gonna warm up a gonna warm up a different guy, uh, Chulk. I'm gonna warm Chulk. I don't don't know how to say his last name. I apologize if I butcher that. Swing and a miss. He done. That was a good swing right there. Swoosh. But he missed. All right, he had RBI. I on a sack fly. So that was what got the first run for the Expos. And he gets a base hit, his first hit of the game. He was a terror last the last episode. But at least it feels good to finally get in the lead but more than just two runs. Get in the lead more than just two runs, obviously. My tongue twister. Sorry. That was bad. <laughs> and to the ground ball, Hinsky will throw to second. Ouchies! That's those takeout slides are not legal nowadays. He was like, ready, bing. That has to hurt. There's, there's the first pitch. Oh, fly ball to left center. Oh no, 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 no. They're gonna tie the game. We don't hurry up here. Hurry. Ugh. Throwing. And throw the plate. The game's tied. Again. Great. Okay, so the X. Excuse me, the Nationals are fighting back. I keep forgetting they're National, not Expo, because the Expos. They weren't Expo jerseys. So, well, they get a run back. And we're going to have to get ready for pinching for Holiday. Ah! Okay. That was bad. I shouldn't have swung at that pitch. 0 1 now. Should have been 1 0. Oh, well. Die drive. That's hits the ground. Guzman's gonna throw. Oh! Oh, they gotta see that replay. Uh, ooh, ooh, half a step. I'm not arguing that one. Don't argue with that. I don't want to lose my manager for their game. That's popped to right. Not. That's playable. Out. Easy out. And I'm gonna be a smart manager and pinch hit for Holiday. Um. Mm, who's gonna be good? Who's the power right-hander? Hillebrand is, but I want to use him, so I'm gonna use Gross. See if he could get a hit here. It would be nice if he could just get a hit here. Fouled off. If it was fair, that would have been extra bases. Or the first base would have died to get it. Oh, that's a good swing to the opposite field. Base hit! Yes! A pinch hit single! That's what we need to keep things going. There's... Come on, Johnson. Get a hit. A hit would be nice here. And, ooh, we jammed him. But he was, it's a base hit. He got hit. Yes! A base hit. And now we got runners on the corners. And look who's coming up. Orlando Hudson. See what he, he's got. Oh, good swing. But he swung out of it. This one too hard. Too hard. 0-1. Come on. Pitch. Grounded. Base hit. We take the lead. We take the lead on a single by Hudson. That is exactly the type of action we need. The lead is back in our favor. Grounded, and that will be the top half of the inning. But we have taken the lead four to three. And now here comes the man. We're going to put in Chulk here. I'm a little concerned about his earned run average. He's in, it's 4.66. That's like that's like four run. He, the average earned run average given up is like over, over four runs. Yeah, two pitchers. Tucker and uh, yeah, And they got a pinch hitter. They got a pinch hitter. So, seven eight for the wide, and he's done. And now they get a pinch hit single. Let's hope they don't try to tie the game on us. And now Wilkerson is up. Start with a fastball in the corner. Uh oh. 
Zonstroke! Say, dang it! They, that guy's quick. So, no double play that time, unless they do something that's funny, like get into something like this. That's a good catch by Hinsky. So, that won't tie the game because he caught it. Two outs. Guzman. Grounded. Adams off throw. Oh, 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 man, that's an error. Adams! Just gracious me. That isn't good. Grounded. Hudson. And, ooh, saved ourselves. Okay, here comes the man. The manager just got in their, their next pitcher, and he just threw a pitch that's dangerously low. Koski has been the hero for us. He had two-run home run to give us the lead earlier in the game, and Hudson did too. And, oh, that's in the right field. Guillen catches at the warning track. Goodness. Now we got Hinsky, one for three. Hopefully he could get a big hit here. There's a ground ball. Got me. Ouch. Okay, Catalanato. You almost got hit last time. Let's see if he can get one right here. And they, he makes line drives at least. All right, let's, let's start warming up. We're going to warm up a couple of pitchers na now in case something goes wrong with our pitcher. Right now, first pitch, swing and a miss. All right. We got, let's, hope we, let's hope we got this in the bag. Line drive. Hudson makes a line to catch. The Blue Jays are happy and happy as ever. That was a good catch right there. And we got one out. And that's fouled to the back. Whew. Okay, there's Nick Johnson. He's two for three. That's dangerous. He could hit one right over our heads. Or we got a right fielder who got incompetent. And we gave up a run. That, we do not want to do that again. Found it. Adams. Oh my goodness. Adams. I shouldn't have dived. And pff, that's going to haunt us. And there's Johnson. The to Come on. Double play. Get out of the inning. Yep. All right. Hudson. Quick throw. The second out. And pff, not again. At least. At least we got the lead runner. We don't have to worry about Johnson's speed. He's not very fast. And we'll throw the first bird third out. We're going to the ninth. All right, since I'm not, all right, I don't trust Frazier. I'm gonna sit him down. Frazier was not our pitcher that lost the game for us, despite our right fielder being slow. So we don't want him. There's a ground ball to the second baseman. It was a slow grounder and out. All right, nope. We're gonna pinch hit for him now. Hellebrand. We're gonna. I was, I'm taking a risk here, but I'm gonna play Hillebrand as a hitter instead of a player. Oh, that's a deep one, center field. That ball is God pinch it home run. Yes, Hillebrand will pinch it home run. That's exactly what we need to some insurance runs to give us a lead that's expanded. Home run. Johnson, who came clutch and ends up helping the team out with a single last time up. Okay, that's. That was not what we needed there. To strategize on that next time. Grounded to the shortstop. And it's going to be a long throw. And got him. And now, here, we're going to do this. We're going to put in... We're putting in... Oh, well, not Frazier. Why not put in Frazier? We, we, we need Spear. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess... Uh, I guess we'll put in Frazier anyway. Sorry. That, that's foul, fouled off. We got a one pitch. Uh, ooh, line drive. Caught. One out. So Frazier is going, going to be closing out. There's Hammonds. Takes a strike. Since he's batting like that, though, leaning over the plate, he, he, I'm going to try to jam him on the inside part of the plate. That isn't going to work. And that's a single. Not. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Now we got Wilkerson again. Speedster alert. One out, though. Double play could end this game. And that is not what we want. We want to end the game. We do not want another rally from those guys. Come to Papa. There's a double play opportunity to, to second. First. Ooh, yes. Double play. That's it. We win the game. The revenge is complete. We win. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Blue Jays win. And we win 5-3 thanks to some clutch hitting. All right, that's the end of the 16 stadiums. 
Check it. Check out for 17. The Hall of Fame game coming soon. I'll see you next time. God bless you all. Don't forget it.